but here we are at one of uh, three flying ME 262s. And I'll give you a little bit of walk around and just a taste of what the aircraft does. This is the engine itself for the Jumo 004, which was on the uh, original jet. It's about the only thing we changed on the aircraft. Uh, we have J85's T38 jet engine without an afterburner in there now. It uh, produces about 50% more thrust, uh, 2,950 pounds of thrust. Uh, more than the uh, Jumo 4 did, but it's a much smaller engine. The engine itself weighs probably just under 400 pounds. Uh, so we have right up here in the forward edge of the nacelle a 520 pound weight to counterbalance the lack of size of the uh, J85s compared to the original Jumos. And this airplane has leading edge slats totally mechanical like the ME109. Uh, they operate based on air lows between 150 and 200 knots. They work great. I can't control them from the cockpit. Uh, again, entirely on air lows here. Viable. That's it. This is the back end of the J85, the business end. And it's funny, the way we get off the airplane is like slide down over the back end of the cell. So you do it quickly right after you shut down the engine. None of the trim tabs, excuse me guys, sure. none of the trim tabs on the airplane work at all, uh, except for the one on the rudder. Uh, the whole elevator can be trimmed, uh, and just the trim tab on the elevator. There's no aileron controls, tabs at all from the cockpit. They can be adjusted only on the ground. It's a simple airplane, uh, simple systems in it. Uh, the gear speed is 185, and uh, they are run hydraulically, as are the brakes. That's the only hydraulic things on the aircraft. Flaps are electric, and flight controls are manual. Uh, flap speeds are 165 before you can start. Moving. And that's basically it. The gear uh, have S2 brakes on it. That's kind of new. They work real well. The nose gear on the aircraft, in fact, all aircraft before the ME262 uh, were tail draggers. And with this aircraft, because the engines are so underslung, when you push the power up, they want to pitch the nose up. It forces the tail down, so it held it on the ground longer. Plus, just the attitude of the aircraft restricted the airflow over the elevator. The German engineers had told the test pilots that you should be able to get kind of tail flying speed at around 90 knots. They weren't getting the aircraft off the ground. They found they had to hit the brakes to get the tail up in the air uh, so they could go fly the airplane. So the lift off of the figure that was not a very good idea. Um, so they decided to put a nose wheel on the airplane and uh, it became a tricycle configured aircraft. Uh, it's been, the nose gear has been the weak link on the airplane ever since then. Okay, we'll start on the left side and work our way around. Uh, standard two each throttles. Uh, if you look forward to the throttles, you'll see two buttons uh, that has been changed. The original configuration had four buttons, two for the gear, two for the flaps. One thing that's kind of different from what you're used to in uh, our modern fighters is uh, the flaps are electric and you have to hold the switch down while the flaps extend. They don't go to a preset position, so that's something you have to pay attention to. And under air loads, it takes a while for them to get out. Uh, we did reconfigure the cockpit with uh, a gear handle that uh, most fighter pilots are used to utilizing as opposed to just a button uh, like the, the uh, flap up and down switch. The cockpit uh, is not original except for one or two gauges. been outfitted with a, a Garmin 430 that makes it nice for navigation and standard instrument array. It's basically a very simple aircraft. Uh, the flight controls are manipulated uh, through push rods and pulleys. There is no hydraulic assist. The stick uh, is a very high stick. It's not low to where you can rest your forearm on your thigh like you do in fighters when you pull G's to, for stability uh, on the wing. Or uh, It's a high stick. And I have a feeling that they lost a bunch of airplanes uh, when it first came into service. Uh, because at high Q, high dynamic air speeds, because it's push rod and pulleys, they just didn't have stabilizer authority to pull it out of a dive. So I have a feeling that 
the stick is longer uh, just to have more more uh, room on the other end of the seesaw that's what I think personal uh, anyway here it is there's the view out the front it has a yaw string which is nice for flying single engine characteristics on this aircraft are uh, not good uh, you lift off the ground at 125 knots or so and the VMCA is 175 knots so you got a 50 knot no man's land uh, which I accelerate to very quickly so I have single engine flying speed uh, it flies conventionally however because there is no hydraulic assist uh, stick forces per G are extremely high mill specs call for about 2.5 pounds per G of stick force in uh, modern fighters and this is about 10 times that so it's very very hard uh, to pull G's and the higher the airspeed the more difficult it becomes